Hey everybody, happy Monday. And thank you so much for dropping by and um, joining me on this Make It Monday session where each Monday I am here to share with you some projects that are interesting, that has piqued my interest and that I wanted to share with you so that you can be inspired to do something creative this week as well. This week's um, topic, we are actually, I am going to be talking about this new, well, yeah, it is a new one from the holiday catalog, um, Font of Autumn. And remember, I always say, oh, I'm doing projects that are interesting, interested, that I'm, that is interesting and that piqued my interest. And for this particular uh, segment, um, it couldn't be further from the truth because I am currently working on my swap for Backstage. That's a leadership event for Stamping Up demonstrators. And uh, one of the fun things that we do when we gather together is we do swaps. My son, when he was like maybe eight or nine years old, he used to tell me, he says, Mom, that's your Pokemon cards. Yep, those are my Pokemon cards, our swaps. So... I was thinking of, oh, I was thinking making maybe making about 75. As time gets closer and I have other things that I have to do, then the number went down to 50. And then now I think I am lucky if I can churn out 20. So stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I will share with you what I intend to make for my swap. Hi, Becky. How are you? Thanks for joining in. Hope you guys had a fun time Saturday with your group. Um, I love your team. You guys just have so much spirit, community spirit. I love it. Anyway, so um, let's see. I just want to make sure that I have enough time for people to jump on because it, sometimes it takes a while for people to get notifications that I'm going live. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I think the camera... I did something to the camera and my face is really big right now. So maybe I should quickly turn it around so that you guys don't see my face so that big. Anyway, okay, so let's get started and let me turn the camera around. Be sure to say hi when you're here so that I can also say hi and thank you for joining me, okay? As I said, it seems like every time, oh, how does this go? Okay, I'm gonna have to readjust this. Okay, all right. I think it'll have to be crooked for a while, I think. I wonder what happened here. Oops, that's too much. There we go, that's much better, I think. I apologize, guys. I just have a really very basic setup, and it does the job, but sometimes it just makes me wonder whether I need a better system. Anyway, okay. So, oh, see, I'm so glad I put this as a reminder for me. So, um, Stamping Up is doing a giveaway of a... JBL Bluetooth speaker. I don't know if this is a good enough picture, but you get the message. It's a paper pumpkin Bluetooth um, speaker that you can win um, in September. So I'm giving you a heads up so you can put it on your calendar to be sure to enter this giveaway. And how do you win this cute JBL Bluetooth speaker? Well, starting with Guam time, September 6, 1 a.m. to September 9, 8 a.m. That's when the giveaway closes, September 9th. Don't miss it. And all you need to do is just your, you know, regular deal, right? Is you have to follow the Paper Pumpkin Instagram or Facebook. Um, and you like that particular post that they will be posting regarding the giveaway and mention three friends, three friends, and that's it. And good luck. So I will be reminding you all about this, but why not put it on your calendar right now? And um, so you don't miss out on winning this cute,
cute little JBL Paper Pumpkin Bluetooth speaker. And by the way, in case you didn't realize, Paper Pumpkin's also on Spotify. So what a deal. Craft and have music that goes along with each theme uh, kit. <clears throat> And while I'm talking about Paper Pumpkin, I also wanted to make sure that um, you don't miss out on the September kit. The September kit um, is for 18 treat boxes. I know many of you will not be doing Halloween, but you know what? Still get the box because I will be doing a special segment on doing alternates because I don't do Halloween um, stuff as well, but um, I will take the challenge and do some non-Halloween um, things from this kit. And another reason why you want to subscribe um, right now is because for the next three months, it'll be all holiday themed. So September's Halloween, October will be Christmas cards, and November will be Christmas tags. So you really do not want to miss out. It's your like shortcut to holiday crafting. All right. And right now, if you get a prepaid Paper Pumpkin subscription, you will also get a celebration item because it's over $50. In fact, it's $67.50 plus 11% shipping. So there are still things still available, like this adorable hippo and the corresponding dies. But also, there's some new stuff out, like the seashell embossing folder. This could be free. Ging, um, the gingham embossing folder, that is also free at the $50 level. There's also the dots and spot die, which I featured last week. Okay, that could be free. And of course, my very favorite is this. These are the gold, for, um, gold paper. Um, I think that's all I have, and the hippo dies. Okay. So anyway, so that is a very good reason to purchase your prepaid um, paper pumpkin right now, the three-month one, because you get celebration free item, right? So what a deal, right? Okay, so let's get started. This is the product that I wanted to share with you today. Um, I don't know if you have caught this because I know for the holiday catalog, a lot of people are um, honing in on the Christmas stuff. And um, this kind of gets put on the wayside. But you know what? I love autumn. I know Guam and Guam, we don't have any autumn. But autumn has always been my favorite season. And uh, so for my swap, I wanted to do something autumn. Autumn Thanksgiving. Okay. And so I decided on this, and as I was playing around with it, I realized there were a lot of interesting um, special little things about this set that you may not know, and it's not easily um, obvious on this catalog. So let me go ahead and share with you what's so special about that. So as you can see, it comes with a stamp set. I love this big stamp okay because it is an open image open line art which means there's so many options what you can do you can emboss you can watercolor or use as is as a background right and so the best thing about this particular bundle if you purchase this bundle by the way it is 52 dollars, so you get a freebie you get a free celebration item but what i'm really excited about is the dies okay so it looks kind of jumbled up but let me show you what a fun um set of dies this is okay so let me get started so the first thing you will notice with this die is this one here okay let me take this out this is a very detailed die, and um, this is what it produces, okay? Very nice filigree kind of a look, okay? And then what else you can do with it is when you have this, 
this particular one is you can go ahead and cut that out, okay? Which then becomes this. Isn't it getting cuter and cuter, right? The possibilities are amazing right now. Okay, so here's this, okay? And so that's that. And let me show you something else. So with this large stamp image, okay, you stamp this out. And obviously, you can cut out this, right? There you go. So this is the very basic step one, is you cut this out like this, which gives you, ta-da, this is like, I feel like I'm like on shopping network or something. You get this, see? Okay. Now you get this, okay. But, wait, this is the fun part. You know what this is? This allows you to cut this into different pieces, okay? So obviously, I mean, you can fussy cut this out yourself, but why would you do that when they have a die like this, okay? So what happens is you get these. And this is what makes it so versatile because if you don't want the autumn feel about this, then you can just die cut a whole bunch of these flowers and it could be a spring-like card. This could be little hollies maybe if you want it to. And here is this. This is the... So this is what comes out of this die, okay? Isn't that cool? I just think it's so amazing. And of course, you've got the flower die the acorn and the leaf. That's pretty self-explanatory. And of course, this banner. I love this banner too. So now that I have shown you the possibilities or the fun things about this die, let's see what we can make from this. Okay. I'll put this away. And let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a card. Okay. Okay. I'm really loving this color combination. You, you'll see I'm using quite a bit of this because it kind of reminds me of like a chocolate milkshake or something. But anyway, okay. So here we go. So I'm using Momento. You could use any black ink, okay? And with a large stamp like this, it's great as a background, okay? <laughs> Hi, Fran. Thanks for jumping in. Yes, it's like magic, right? One, two, three. I got to show it to you because that was something that I don't think the catalog really showed people well what all the possibilities are from that die set. Okay, so I think I've inked it enough. So when I'm doing this, like an all-over print, I usually like to start at the corner, So which is what I'm going to do. It's just a preference of mine. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Okay, isn't that pretty? Let's just continue on. Okay, now of course, if you have um, a stamparatus, this would work really well as, will work well. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in diagonally. Again, there's no rhyme or reason, it's just what my habit is, okay? Oh, what happened there? See, this is where if I had my Stamparatus, it might have worked out better. But let me try to resurrect this. See, I've done a couple already prior to the video. Oh, let me try it again. One more time. I actually have a finished product, but I wanted to show you the whole process. Okay. Okay. 
see, I need the Stamparatus, but I don't have it with me. Okay. It could also be because I didn't really ink up that section, maybe? Okay, let's make this a better one. Oh, this must be something. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time doing this. Let me just show you the finished product. <laughs> anyway, so this is what it's supposed to look like, okay? Thank goodness for preparation, right? Anyway, so once you've done that, oh, I don't know what happened there. It must be my pressure on this table. But anyway, so then another thing that I like to do then is you can watercolor this. Okay, this one actually I use blends, okay? And uh, let me go ahead and put this on. All right, so actually, you know, I could probably continue this on because you know, I could always cover it up, but never mind. I just think this kind of gives you a renaissance look. It's a very lush looking um, design. And then I have Happy Thoughts of You, which I am going to put on dimensionals because we all love dimensionals. Uh, what do I need to add? The padding, oh yeah, possibly, Becky, possibly. This, um, right. Okay. And there you go. So this is my first card, okay? A little mishap, but it's there. Oh, that's what I need. I'm glad I have all these in front of me because it's to remind me what I need to do. A little bling is always nice. Okay. So. You know what? I'm just going to use my hands because things have not been working out very well today. So there's one. So there you go. So that's one card. And because it's a large stamp, you can go ahead and make your matching envelope, right? How cool is that? Okay, so that's one card. And let me bring out what other things. So this is another thing that you can do, okay? This one, I embossed um, the image, okay? And this is using one of the free paper, which I love. This is the banner. And this is one of those big greetings that we have die cut, okay? And so after I chopped this off, ta-da, nothing is going to waste, okay? So nice and elegant. That's how I like to call this card, an elegant card, okay? That's one. And so what to do with this? Well, remember there's a similar die with the Hues of Happiness um, stamp set. And so that has given me ideas of using this as a background. So instead of using embossing, you know, the dry embossing um, as a background image, you can use it just as a background here, like, okay? So with this one, I'm also showing you that you don't have to use the whole thing, just use um, 
whatever the greeting that you, sentiment you want. And you can also bring in other sentiments that you might have. And especially if it's a photopolymer, you can bend it to shape. Okay. So this one hardly looks like um, a November stamp, right? I mean, you could probably use this springtime. Okay. So this one, it's with dimensions, right? So that's one card. And fixating with this particular die, here's another one. This kind of looks springy, doesn't it? So for this particular one, I just die cut the top and the bottom and just sliced it. And this particular one, I watercolored. I actually stamped it with um, um, Sahara sand, and then I used color the watercolor pencils um, to give it a wa to watercolor it. Okay. As you can see, how versatile the, these are, and so I promised to show you my swap card, and this is I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is pretty much going to be it. That's This is what I'm going to be swapping at um, backstage. Although I'm a little bit regretting the process because this is, I had to first die cut this, emboss this, die cut this, and watercolor it, or using blends. So 20 is really like, Okay, that's stretching it. I hope I can make 20 of this, but anyway. So if you're not already in my um, Beehive group, why don't you stop over there? Because this over the weekend, I was asking people um, whether to use this metallic ribbon or a black twine. I was actually leaning towards black twine, but overwhelmingly people wanted this green, the shimmery. And so that's what I think I will be doing, okay? I won't probably have much rhinestone or jewels on this because this has to travel to New Orleans, okay? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Becky, you know this is a lot of work. So I might have to redo this, but I, since I've already cut out 20 of this, so I'm committed to 20 of this, and then maybe after 20, depending on how I feel, how much time I have, I might change it up a bit. But anyway, so yeah. So these are the cards all made from this bundle, the Font of Autumn bundle. See, even in the catalog, there's some different designs. Oh, I forgot something else that I wanted to share. See, with this large image, it's great for stamping on these little gift boxes okay so there we go this is still one of my favorite um party favor um boxes so this is just the flat um the banner that i use to insert the flap to keep it closed okay let's see huh I think that's all for today. I am going to be very busy trying to get all my cards done for um, on stage. No, not on stage. Backstage. Yep. And um, and I hope you enjoyed this. Now, for those of you who purchased this bundle, you will be getting a celebration item. But more importantly, um, my next class will be on this. So you will... Um, so the class fee for you will be free. So when I ha when I post this up and you're interested in that class, um, it will be free for you. Okay? And in the, I haven't decided what... I might add some other things to do for the class, but um, a few of these will definitely make it to the class. So you'll be able to work on some of this. Or you know what? When you purchase this this bundle and you let me know what which card you want to make in the class. How about that? That's probably a good idea too. Which card would you like to make 
in this class. Okay. All right. So this is it for today. I know it's kind of short, um, but I did really want to show you all the fun things you could do with this die. And don't miss this, right? Don't miss this because it's easily um, missed. Anyway, so yeah. So have fun and um, I will see you next Monday. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, be sure to leave a message. Please leave a comment below and say hi. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.